Welcome back to the news for the week ending Friday, January 12th, 2018, where we've got quite a lot of news this week, actually, beginning with some news from Hayao Miyazaki on his latest work of anime, which is coming out March 21st, but it's not what you think it is. Um, there's a new short film Hayao Miyazaki made called um, Boro the Caterpillar. It is a, I believe it was a 20, uh, 14 minute short film that will be premiering at the Ghibli Museum starting in March. So this is not a general purpose release, it's not a feature film. This is a concept he's had for actually many years, uh, going all the way back to Princess Mononoke. He wasn't sure whether to do Borrowed Caterpillar or Mononoke and ended up going off and doing that film, for which I thank him. But um, Borrow the Caterpillar, or Kemushi no Boro, will be uh, released on March 21st, which is a little early. Uh, they have basically, um, up to this point, said they'd hoped it would debut at some point in 2018. So the fact that it's coming out in March is pretty darn good. <clears throat> it was originally planned for July of last year, but things got a little pushed back. So if you want to watch it, unfortunately, you'll, you'll have to go to the Ghibli Museum in Japan, but maybe someday you'll be able to, to see that. Moving on to some other anime announcements. It was revealed this week that we will be getting a anime film out of the saga of Tanya the Evil. An anime film project. Um, we are not sure yet whether this is, will be an original story or whether it will just uh, adapt the existing anime series. Um... Uh, or what's, what else is going on there. But uh, definitely a new anime film for that franchise, which, which certainly made a splash when it first came out over here in, uh, or, uh, uh, in America and Japan, really. So good on them, and we'll, we'll have to see what that's going to be like. No release date or even release year yet. No. We'll see. Um, speaking of anime films, A Silent Voice, Koi no Katachi, will be released in a few select theaters in the U.S. February 2nd. Head on over to uh, Eleven Arts for the list of theaters. Pretty cool. Uh, no information about uh, Canada yet, just U.S. locations so far. This will be screening the English dub of A Silent Voice in the U.S. Uh, Lexi Cowden will be playing uh, Shoko Nishimiya which is cool because she also is deaf. So that's kind of a really neat uh, uh, neat concept. And a bunch of other uh, anime voice actors, and, you know, um, known anime voice actors working on the dub here. So that's cool that um, us over here in the U.S., we will be getting a silent voice sometime soon. Uh, moving on to some news from Funimation with the new 2018 winter anime series launching. They, uh, Funimation has announced uh, the list for their simul dubs, and uh, we now know that uh, Junji Ito Collection will start simul dubbing January 20th, Katana Maidens January 21st, Pop Team Epic the 22nd, uh, Token Ranbu Hanamaro 2 on the 23rd, Crycopter Sakura Clear Card on the 24th, Citrus on the 25th, Basilisk on the 27th, Hakata Tonkotsu Ramens on the 27th as well. Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody, January 28th. Uh, Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san, January 28th also. Dagashi Kashi 2 on the 29th. Uh, and then Hakyu Hoshin Engi and Overlord both on the 30th. The Silver Guardian 2 on the 31st. And Darling in the Franks, February 1st. So yep, you'll be getting all those as simul dubs over in Funimation. Um, coming up very soon. So that's cool. They're definitely pushing forward with that whole thing. And uh, they're simul dubs. That's a lot of anime to simul dub. Pretty crazy. Uh, Crunchyroll, for its part, announced several more licenses. <clears throat> uh, they've announced that they have a license. Let me see if I can get this up here. Uh, there we go. They've licensed. Uh, I, I have these in alphabetical order. Um, Hakyu Hoshin Engi, which is about, um, which is a fantasy series, um, 
uh, based on an, uh, um, a manga from the late 90s, actually. So that's kind of interesting. It's about, uh, uh, you know, fantasy world and adventuring in a, uh, a fantasy world kind of a thing. That sounds kind of fun. Then there is uh, Marchen Madchen. Sounds to me like, you know, b basketball anime. But it's actually about a sort of an international Hogwarts sort of a concept. Uh, basically, girls get chosen as, um, as to have magical powers, and magical powers um, are, are granted them, and then they have to go to this school. So it's about a bunch of, of girls uh, from all across the world who are all in this one same magic academy. Uh, this actually has already premiered, but uh, Crunchyroll will be uh, uh, releasing that over here as well. Then there's The Silver Guardian 2, which I'm not as familiar with. Um, uh, that is obviously season one of The Silver Guardian, uh, which is about... Um, 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 a, a guy trapped in a video game world, I believe, based on this. So, again, not sure, but second season of The Silver Guardian. There you go. And then, finally, uh, they announced they're streaming a Token Ranbu Hanamaru Season 2. Um, and, uh, again, just Season 2 of That Thing, which is a... Uh, let me see if I can get some information on that. Um, apparently about sort of fantastical people in the modern world. So, anyway. Yeah, so Crunchyroll is are licensing those in addition to all their other licenses this season which is um, uh, a lot. So I've <laughs> been trying to keep up, and there's just a lot The Crunchyroll is simulcasting. So that's good. No complaints. We've got all these things out there and available to us. Uh, finally, in the news, um, this is kind of cool. The new Godzilla anime film uh, will be debuting January 17th on Netflix. It will be available in 190 countries. So this means basically worldwide release. It'll be available in eight different dubbed languages and 23 subtitled languages. So yeah, somebody definitely wants, <laughs> wants this to be broadly and widely available. It is all CGI, from what I can tell, and what I've seen of the trailer. Uh, it already opened in Japan back in November. So, um, and it was originally, it was supposed to stream on Netflix that year, but apparently got pushed back. So, it will be available January 17th. Um, it is set in the far future from what the trailer claims. And uh, so, yeah, the Godzilla you know, anime film, again, is CGI anime, depends on how you define it. But it is, it, it will be available in less than a month on Netflix if you want to check that out. So... Good news, and they're definitely making it widely available, which is awesome. So that's the news for this week. Thank you for joining us, and I hope uh, you'll be back next week for more news.